So we'll start the class. So the subject code is EC18305, it is electronic circuits. We have five units as a part of this subject. So first unit is going to be, we are going to study about, uh, we studied about the uh, BJT in the devices, right? So we are going to uh, study about the extended version of BJT. And can anybody say what is a BJT? Expand BJT. Expand BJT. Uh, bipolar junction transistor. Very good. And can anybody say what are the three terminals you have in a BJT? Collector, emitter, and base. Okay. And based on the three terminals, you have three modes of operation of BJT, right? So what are the three different circuits you have from a BJT? C, C, B, and C, C, sir. Yes. So I think... Uh, you have just now completed devices, so you should be very familiar about the operation of BJT. And you know that in a BJT, you have three regions of operation. You have the active region, you have the saturation region, and you have the cutoff region, right? And I have been telling in devices class, if you are going to use your BJT as an amplifier to amplify voltage or current or to amplify power, you have to operate the BJT in the active region. So unit one is going to completely focus upon how am I going to operate the BJT in the active region. So don't worry about cutoff or saturation. We are not going to worry about cutoff or saturation. And the same cutoff and saturation region, you will be studying it in digital systems. So you have digital systems uh, design in this uh, uh, semester, right? So there you will be operating the BJT in either cutoff or saturation. See how this BJT is getting uh, diverted into two subjects. So purely if you focus on active region, you get this subject electronic circuits. If you operate the BJT in cutoff or saturation, you will get what is called as digital logic design subject. So we are not going to see about cutoff or saturation. So we are going to focus more on active region design of BJT, which is going to help me in amplifying my signal effectively. So for that, several biasing techniques are there. We'll be studying about the different biasing circuits we are going to use for BJT to make it work in the active region. And uh, can anybody say what is one parameter which is going to affect the performance of a semiconductor device? Which parameter affects the performance of a semiconductor device? Yes, please give a try. Don't be silent. We have studied about this. When we studied about diode, BJT, FET, we have been studying about this particular topic, which is going to affect semiconductor devices. What is that? What is that? Capacitance. Capacitance, okay, to some extent. Then, then anybody else? You are, uh, I, I'll give a clue. You are... Uh, Operating, you are working with the PN junction diode. The room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The current is 1 milliamps you get. You are operating the PN junction diode at 45 degrees Celsius. The current you get is 100 milliamps. So can you get something from this? So temperature? Yes. So semiconductors and temperatures are dependent. So the temperature change, it may be increase or decrease in temperature, it is going to surely affect the complete characteristics of all semiconductor devices. That is why you need to have a, a mechanism to ensure that even if the temperature is going to increase or decrease, my device functioning is not going to be affected. Okay, so that is all what is called as thermal stability. So we are going to see about the thermal stability in BJT. And then we are going to, in the end of the unit, we'll be seeing about what is what are the common emitter amplifier circuits we have, how to analyze common emitter amplifier and other types of cascaded amplifiers. See, if one uh, amplifier is not uh, sufficient to amplify your signal, we will ca ca put different amplifiers in cascade. Cascade means output of one amplifier will go as input to second amplifier. Output of second amplifier will go as input to third amplifier. So if you cascade the stages, the amplification will be excellent. So that is going to be called as cascaded stages amplifier. So this unit will give a clear understanding of how to bias a BJT. Biasing is you have to operate the BJT in active region. An active region, if you operate the BJT, you can expect amplification to happen in a BJT. 
So for now, in the beginning of the unit to understand this thing, okay. So as as and when we study about the different techniques we use for biasing, you will clearly understand why, what is the significance of biasing, what are the drawbacks of biasing, and how to choose the biasing circuit. So everything will be clear when we see different types of biasing circuits. Okay, so slowly we'll go into 